Hey guys, how are you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again with a new unboxing and review on the Galaxy A71 5G from AT&T. So the reason why I picked this up is because I went to Best Buy. I had the Moto Edge that I was ranting so much about. I was at my 14 day, the phone was blacking out a little bit uh i don't know if that was due to i don't even know what that was due to it, it just i read some stories about the moto edge and i didn't want to be stuck with it so i returned it i end up searching for a phone that was about the same but i came across the galaxy a71 5g um didn't know all about the specs and everything but i learned that they are not too far from each other so i picked this up at at&t like i said for $5 a month for 30 days, I guess that comes out to $150. I put $90 down. Um, I still owe like $60 or something like that. So getting right into it, you're dealing with a 6.7, 10 by 80, 24 megapixel. That is a little bit more than the Moto Edge, but same screen size. You don't, you're dealing with a 64 megapixel camera at 216p that is the same as the Moto. And this comes with six to eight RAM. I got the six variant and the Moto Edge had a six RAM. It has the ex the Exodos 980 versus the Moto that had the Snapdragon 675. This has a 45 milliamp battery, so does the Moto. So I'm just going over these comparisons to say, you know, then, you know, I. I had a problem with the Moto, but I picked up a Samsung that had the same amount. Okay, they both rock Android 10. This is rocking a UI 2.1 of Android 10, 128 gigabyte. I really wish it had the 256 like the Moto, but hey, you know, can't get everything that you want. <laughs> so um, going on from there, the phone is not, it's not waterproof. That's a downsize, neither was the Moto. Um, the Moto had a little splash proof, but it is glass and plastic, and uh, it's Super AMOLED Plus, and um, you know, it has an 88.3% of body ratio at a tw 20 by 9 ratio. So without that being said, let's get to the unboxing. So inside the box, you get this. Uh, I wish they would have gave you the Samsung box, but I guess they don't. So the phone is right here. We're going to get right into that. So inside the box, you get a pamphlet talking about the A71. You get now in here, which I believe was supposed to be some headphones, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, you get C-type charging right there. Let me take that out. Just to get some look at it. Yeah, you get C-type charging on both right there. Sorry about that, guys. And you get a turbo super fast charger. I don't even, it, I, yeah, okay, I guess this is Samsung. Okay, so you get a Samsung turbo charge fast. That That's that's different because that, that's, that's pretty big. Okay, I didn't even think that was Samsung. <laughs> so, okay. So, Get into it. Like I said, you are dealing with a 6.7 always on display. You get the features of a high price phone at a budget price. The phone is regularly, regularly, if you just want to buy it out, a $600 phone. But like I said, I got it at $5 a month. $5 a month for 30, 30 months can pay out any time. So I got, I got a deal, you would say so. So... 6.7 Super AMOLED Plus display. You got the notch at the top, as you saw when it was on. You got an in-display fingerprint sensor that moves, that is pretty fast. Um, I didn't witness no lag at all, if I'm swiping back and forth. It runs very smoothly, unlike the A51 that I had. That ran a media tech and it's just tear. It, it was just that meet that A fifty one. I just didn't like it. I just saw the the ins and outs of it. 
So the A71, everybody obviously said it was way, way better. Um, let me see what else I can say about it. It's running, uh, oh, on the side right here, you got your volume rocker, you got your power button right here. You got a little bump right there for the camera. And there you, you get your 64, your 12, your eight, and I believe your, your five megapixel right there. LED flash, no wireless charging, unfortunately, but uh, I don't use wireless charging like that anyway, but it would have been nice to have along with the 68 um, waterproof if it did have it. Sadly, it doesn't. Uh, the This is a pretty hefty phone. Um, and you know, you get your antenna bands at the bottom with your speaker and you get your, let me see if I can get to that. Okay, you get your speaker, your mic, USB type C, headphone jack, and antenna bands. On the opposite side, you have nothing right there. On the top, you have your, where well, you put your SIM card and SD card, and you got your, you got antenna band, and you got a mic at the top. This is a really, really nice phone. I really uh, like it. Um, it's, I mean, it's it's beautiful. You can see the plus display. It's really nice. Um, like I said, it comes with 128 gigabytes. Um, the, the always on display is customizable right there. I just haven't messed with it. And I haven't messed with the fingerprint sensor to see if you can dip, do different types of um, things to load it up. Um, let me see. Oh, another thing. You do get the edge display without having to have a note. So when you swipe to the side, you know, you, uh, I did too fast, I'm sorry guys. Swipe to the side, you, you can add some apps. Oh man, sorry. Uh, you, you get some more right there, some smart select. Calibrate. Context weather and so some other stuff so that's pretty cool so you don't really like i i had the note i love the note um i didn't actually use the pen like <laughs> like i could but you know it's nice to have a feature a feature like that it does come with nfc right there and if i take off the wi-fi it does support 5g that is nice to have right there and uh that, that's just really good. That, that's what makes the phone, like, you know, worth a lot more because of the 5G that is put in there. So, like they, like everybody has saying, we know down the line when 5G gets bigger and better, it'll be nice to have a 5G phone. So, that's really nice right there. Um, you can switch your bottom ones to, to just have, like, you know, all display. So, I changed mine, but you can customize it to have the back home and, and, um, menu button and uh let's see what else i think and you can let me see i think you can do this um you can do a uh, split screen let me see i haven't done this before let me see if i can do it i oh okay i'm gonna learn how to do this guys okay there it go there it go okay so change the aspect ratio okay here it goes split screen right there so i guess i can have walk oh, okay how am i gonna do this okay so okay that's cool okay so that was my first time doing it guys <laughs> so you got split screen right there that's that's really cool cool at 29 by ratio and you know, like I said, I got my app menu up top right there, and I got the G G uh, GS Arena at the bottom right there. So do two things at once. That's that's pretty cool right there. So yeah, get back. Let me see how you get out of this thing. Okay. All right. Okay. So you can do that. So it's plenty of room. Like I'm trying to say for you to to, to do to do two things at once. Um. You do got Google now for assistance and you got Big Speed right there. So if I wanna say, okay, Google. Okay, that should be coming up. Hey, Big Speed. Okay, <laughs> I guess I got a program, guys, that didn't work like I wanted to. 
Let me see if I have to go into the cards real quick. Hold on. Okay, guys, sorry. Had to get back to training the assistants. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so here we go. Let's try it one more time. Hey, Google. Okay, so we got like that right there. And then let's try Bigsby. Hey, Bigsby. Okay, she heard me right there. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty cool right there. Okay, so you got two assistants in one to help you out when you're driving or you just, you know, sit around. So all you gotta do is say the commands with the hey and they come on or you can activate them by double tapping. And there's Bixby right there. Or you swipe from the side and then you got Google right there. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, let's get to the ta the toggles below and let's see what comes with the phone. Of course, you got the Wi-Fi, you got the storage, you got the Wi-Fi calling, you got the power mode, uh, you got any different apps that you download that creates icons up top, you got the hotspot, you swipe to the side, you got live capture, you got NFC, you got always on display, edge light, uh, you got you got a lot. Uh, scan QR code, leak windows, uh, swipe again. You got dark mode. You got big speed, um, ro rotate. You got force mode. Um, you got a lot. You got a lot coming in there. Okay, now once again, this is a budget phone, and giving you premium features on the phone, which you can't go wrong with. I see a lot of people get in the S twenty all that, and it's good if you can get on a deal. It's really good, but to me, I'm just like. You know, it looks, the S20 looks beautiful, but you know, it's basically built the same way. Well, it's not built the same way, but it has the same type of frame a little bit. The camera is a real, is big, bigger. And, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's different. It's different. But anyway, if you want to get a phone at, if you want to get the key features on a nice budget phone, I would definitely, definitely pick up a Galaxy A71 5G. Um, now, one thing I want to say before I go is that I was going to get the LG Velvet. I was listening to a lot of reviews about the LG Velvet, and I have to say that is totally, totally bogus. I would not have anybody pick up an LG Velvet. First of all, the phone is lighter than this. Not that light doesn't mean that okay it's premium it just the lg velvet felt very very cheap uh the light the the color of it <clears throat> is just the silver that they put on that thing looks terrible i got the silver color it was looking terrible um i saw better color i saw better resolution on the note uh, i mean i know on the stylus six than i did on the witch call it on the velvet. Um, I mean, it, it tell you the truth, I, I, I rather the style of six over the velvet because I'm trying to tell you it just looked just terrible. It really did. I mean, the feel, the look, everything. I don't know what people were on. I mean, they must get paid to bring up that, that velvet because it was looking just terrible. But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to say that because if anybody was thinking about getting the LG velvet, I just, you know, I like to be honest and tell people everything that's going on. And I'm telling you, I would not pick up that LG Velvet. I would definitely pick up the Galaxy A71 5G. And the only reason why I said that, too, is because the LG Velvet is on sale, too, at AT&T and T-Mobile and Verizon. And I would not want nobody to have to pay a restocking fee like I did, okay? So um, on that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. And any questions about this phone, please don't hesitate to comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button.